The CDC and public health officials in 18 states, including California, are investigating an E. coli outbreak linked to organic baby and whole bagged carrots. I'm Ashley Stevens, your North County community reporter, speaking with local farmers about what you should know. On November 16th, Grimway Farms of California recalled multiple sizes and brands of bagged organic carrots after one person died and three dozen others were sickened in connection with the E. coli outbreak. One of the main areas of concern for someone with E. coli infection, and it mostly affects children, is something called hemolytic ure uremia syndrome. And that is when there is blood in the urine and it can actually affect the kidneys and cause kidney failure. San Luis Obispo County Public Health Director Dr. Penny Bornstein says there are no treatments for E. coli infection, only supportive care such as anti-nausea medication and fluids. Some people do pretty well and recover very quickly. And some people, especially high risk groups like young children, the elderly, people with immune system disorders um, can have very bad cases. The products were sold between mid-August and late October. They are likely no longer sold in stores, but may still be in your home. Brands include 365, Good and Gather, Marketside, Nature's Promise, O Organic, Trader Joe's, Wegmans, and Wholesome Pantry. It seems to be an ongoing problem, um, and it's uh, somewhat alarming, um, especially when dealing with raw vegetables um, that people aren't cooking. Um, it becomes really problematic, and cross-contamination from that uh, pathogen going from one surface to another can be really, really challenging, especially uh, on the home front. According to food safety expert Todd Engstrom, E. coli can be passed through contaminated water. Local farmers tell me that bacteria grows once it's trapped, like in a bag. Dr. Bornstein recommends washing surfaces the carrots have touched and throwing away any recalled items. According to the CDC, most people infected with E. coli have severe stomach cramps, diarrhea, and vomiting. Those symptoms start three to four days after swallowing the bacteria, and most people recover without treatment after five to seven days. If those symptoms are severe, the CDC recommends contacting your health care provider. In Templeton, Ashley Stevens, KSBY News.